So, I've got a, my electromagnetic coil, aluminum ring, power supply, and when I flip the switch, it goes up in the air. And then we will dip it in liquid nitrogen to make it cooler for a couple of seconds. And probably going to have to zoom out on the camera, so we'll find out. Okay, so I've got, uh, got it in liquid nitrogen. Put the ring in the coil. And we hit the ceiling. Hit the ceiling. Hit the ceiling again. But as it warms up, it starts to lose some of the current so it doesn't go as high. Okay, I'm going to try the same thing with a copper ring this time, which is a little heavier, but it conducts electricity a little bit better. So without, just by itself, it goes up because the electromagnetic coil produces a changing magnetic flux through the coil, gives it a current, and then we'll stick that in some liquid nitrogen for a little while. Let it cool down. Give it a second. Temperature drops. That means the resistance in the coil is going to drop. Resistance in the coil drops. The ring will uh, have more current. So it will have a greater repulsive force pushing it up to the top. Copper wire should be cold enough. So we'll pop that out. Put it on the coil. And hit the ceiling. It's the ceiling. If I can make it, wow, that's got some force to it. Touch my finger. Make that stuff melt, warm it up. Still very cold. And it's got some force. It's very cold. But not quite enough to make it hit the ceiling. <laughs> 